맛있겠다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 음, I barely slept today. I, I think I slept like three hours. I was so tired before I came here, but filming videos in, in the public actually wakes me up. It's like, it works so much better than coffee. Eh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having breakfast. Five hours later. Can you come down? Like it, it says, it takes five minutes from the station to your place. This place is called Saku. Apparently, they are famous for their katsu and soba. I ordered rozu katsu with additional cheese katsu. It was perfectly cooked that it is very crispy on the outside while keeping juicy and tender meat inside. Pork loin had good proportions between meat and fat. Also, the cut had a good thickness that resulted in a pleasant, chewy texture. Even though their katsu was very tasty, the dish that surprised me the most was actually their miso soup. This wasn't just another ready-made miso soup that is served in most other Japanese restaurants. Instead of tofu and seaweed, it had chicken and fresh vegetables, which made me believe that they would've boiled their own broth to make their miso soup. Overall, the execution was very well done and the employees were also very caring. I would definitely recommend this place to anyone who lives in Vancouver. Just be mindful that this place is already popular and there are usually people waiting outside. talking about photography I, I have no idea what he's talking about do you think this is worth taking at all what are you, what's your subject the torch you can get a polarizing filter I don't even know what that is we were on the way to get base layer leggings for myself because clumsy me forgot to bring one for snowboarding. Dima gaslighted me to get a pair that's made out of merino, which was close to $100. This is probably the last leggings I'm getting for the next 10 years. After that, we came back and I passed out for the next several hours. <laughs> when I am given a vacation and have the option to travel to other places, I almost always choose where someone I know is close by. You know when you're traveling somewhere new, 
it is exciting but also mentally exhausting at the same time. That has been the reason why I always chose places where I can visit someone rather than going on an adventure on my own. It is a great compromise between feeling some excitement while saving some mental energy. However, now that I think about this, I realized I was limiting myself from broadening the scope of my world. I already used up all my vacation this year because we're also going to Korea in a month. But hopefully I can travel somewhere completely new with a friend or family next year. Thank you. 네, 저희 첫 막창 순대국 하나 주시고요. 돌솥 비빔밥 하나 주시고요. 그리고 그밥 막걸리 주전자 하나 주시겠어요? Do I look cute? See, because when you're like this, uh, your head is cropped, and that's a very uncomfortable crop. Okay. Like, when I look at it, I'm like, uh, but when it's like this, like, it's way more pleasing to the eye that there's some space. Ideally, it'll be like even higher, but there's not enough room. The kid behind you was watching this. This place is called South Castle Korean Restaurant. They specialize in Korean blood sausage soup. The blood sausage is usually made with processed intestine or collagen casing, but this place uses real pig intestines to make their food. This is very unusual even in Korea because it takes so much more effort than just getting ready-made ones from the suppliers. Also, it is hard to treat any intestines properly so that it does not have an unpleasant smell. They did a wonderful job treating the pig intestines and their overall execution is near to perfection. I have tried blood sausage soup many times from different places, including the places I went to in Korea, but this is the best one I have ever tried so far. The only flaw for this place would be that their facilities are old and the size of the place is pretty small compared to their popularity. But the place is clean and old facilities don't really bother me at all. Instead, they actually give me an appetite because I'm thinking, how long have they survived? They must be really good. Their blood sausage soup with chestnut makgeolli was a great ending to the day. If you're adventurous in your food choices, I'll definitely recommend you to come here. Again, just be mindful that this place is already popular and you'll likely have to wait in line. What? I turned it off. You can put them up oh, wait. Your ass to work so far. Okay, never mind. I just started work on recording. <laughs>